In this video, I want to talk about the facade pattern. Uh, the facade pattern is a pattern that provides a convenient higher level interface to a larger body of code, which hides its true underlying complexity. So let's say we have an API. All I care about, what the client or the user cares about is the functionality. It's what functions am I going to call? You don't care the implementation. You don't care how it was written. You just want to call it. And let's say the function has a getter and a setter. You know that you can set something and get something. But the facade pattern is what hides the implementation because you don't care what the client is. is the client shouldn't care how it was implemented. They just want to know how it was going to be used. So you're, you're hiding. When I say hiding code, you're hiding the implementation. They, they can see the function and the name of the function, like getter and setter, but the implementation that you implemented is not what really matters, and they're not going to see it. So I'm going to do a quick example. So I'm going to paste the code. And here I made a function or variable called mortgage, and this is what I'm going to call my object. I'm going to pass this a name, name, and this, that name. And mortgage is going to, I'm going to add a function to it, so called apply for. So technically, apply for is my API for the mortgage. So here, I have mortgage. And then my API, I have apply for. And if I wanted to add another function, I can do that as well. So I know that mortgage is the object that I'm going to call and apply for is the function. And I can even have, have a setter or a getter. But all this information is hidden from the user. Like they don't know how I implemented this code. All they know is that I can call mortgage and call apply for or, or call my setters and my getters, but they don't see the actual code. So for example, I could do var mortgage and my new mortgage, let's say ABM, and then I can do mortgage dot apply for. So this is one of the functions that I'm calling. Say I say 500, and I can console log my result. So all this code will most likely be in another file and in this file you would pretty much call your mortgage and you'll see the API so you know what function you could call a mortgage they might it might say mortgage apply for set get uh, buy sell and you can get some definition of what it does or a return type and then what you would do would do mortgage I apply for and either do your getter, your setter, your buy, your sell, uh, whatever the API has. But you're actually not going to see all the implementation of what that class or that function or object has. And that is pretty much uh, the facade pattern. It's a pretty easy concept to understand. You're just hiding the complexity uh, from the clients and its functionalities. Thank you.